Okay guys, so here we are ready to show you the difference between compound interest and simple interest. So we've come to reduce my debt by thousands.com. Here's, here's their homepage. Um, if you go to their info page, um, these guys really know what they're doing, but by the end of it, there's some videos here you can look at if you decide to visit the site. But as you go all the way down here, they have these really two great um, calculators here that are for simple interest and compound interest calculators. So what we do is we've clicked this and this is where it brings us to, all right? So, um, you know, let's start off with a simple number here, like $20,000. So all we did is pulled up a compound interest calculator and a simple interest calculator. And again, we're gonna put the exact same um, terms and conditions in there for each calculator to see the difference, okay? So we have, we're gonna hit calculate on both. And what we're gonna see here is total interest. And we have accrued amount, which is the total amount paid. So let's just take a look at the total interest. That would be $31,000. This would be at 19%, a $20,000, um, you know, let's say credit card. And that's the reason I, I, I chose these numbers because these are very, very normal numbers what people are paying these days on their credit cards issued from the bank. So $20,000, uh, let's say principal balance, 19% compounded interest. Let's just say it's five years so we can see how long it would take to pay it, to pay it back. And when we calculate this, it is $31,000 of interest in five years, um, for $20,000, that's compound interest. Now, when you take a look at simple interest, we place the exact same terms and conditions in, and what we have here is only $11,128 in interest. So that is a huge, huge difference, okay? Now, if we now have to take a look at the, how realistic it is to pay this off now, that would mean we would have to take a look and figure out what would the monthly payment be for compound interest calculator. They don't give it to us here. On the simple interest one, they do. At 20,000, 19% um, interest, simple interest, five year term, you're gonna see that there's a payment of $518, which in most cases is, um, you know, manageable, right? Now, if you take a look at a compound interest calculator, what's happened here is you have to take the total amount that they you paid in and divided by the amount of payments, the months. So that's five years, which is 60 months. So we take 60 months divided by, um, or sorry, $51,701.41 divided by 60. And what we have here is this amount right here. So you can see the difference between this amount, the payment for the compound interest calculator, and the simple interest, I mean, that's a huge difference, okay? So now here, let's go a little bit further because really this payment here, in most cases, it just is not uh, obtainable for people, affordable. So what ends up happening here is that they're literally in impetual debt. They're just, you know, spinning the wheels. They're only paying, um, you know, interest only payments in a sense, okay? so. Once you get to about $20,000, 19% compounded interest, it is very difficult to get out of debt. Now, if we go over here now, and, and let's do this, let's, let's just go, um, you know, $40,000 now, because some people are, um, you know, $40,000 into debt, into credit card debt, right? And if we hit that calculate here and leave everything else the same, these are the type of interest. This is just the total interest alone, $63,000, okay? Over $63,000. So as we go further, and, and let's be fair, let's go to the simple interest one, and what should happen because of the formula it should just be exact double, but let's just say 40, because we put 40 in here, so we're gonna put 40 in here. And you guys, I, I encourage you guys to do this on your own. Just go and, you know, go and use these exact same um, calculators we're using. Um, you, you know where to get them on reduce my debt by thousands.com. And at the end of it, um, you know, play with your own situation and you're going to be in shock. And if you can get yourself into simple interest opposed to compound interest, this is the type of money that we're talking about saving. So let's just say it's $40,000 now. Um, you know, this is $63,402 simple interest. Now here, um, when we had calculate for the 40,000, 
it is only 22,000 opposed to 63,000, right? So that is a huge difference. And again, if we decided to, hey, how much a month would I have to pay? Well, the simple interest calculator would say, well, it's about $1,000, uh, $1,037 a month. Now, if we look at the compound calculator, they don't give us again, they don't give us the, the um, uh, monthly payment, but all we have to do is divide, because it's five years, 60 months into 103,400 and look at this here is the payment and that is unobtainable once you get to this situation um you are in perpetual debt and you know there's only one way out you have to realize that you are a chief executive officer of a company and the money that they lent you is actually your own money and again here is the you know we'll, we'll put up the if you're not aware of that we're going to put up some uh, videos here for you guys to take a look at um, in order for you to see that, hey, wait a minute, there is a way out. We have to be asking for proof of ownership of the debt because if these banks have sold the debt, what happens is that, well, they're no longer an affected party and they cannot sue and they've already been paid because they sold it. And before you know it, there are, there, there are ways in order to, when you use that um, you know, principle and you use that fact that they could have sold the debts and they don't own it anymore, you can definitely get out of this type of situation. Okay. So, I mean, at this point right now, guys, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. We'll do, we'll do one more for you because I mean, not many people are into like, you know, well, that's not true. I mean, I, I meet a lot of people that are over a hundred thousand dollars in, um, in credit card debt. Um, but let's just say 80,000 just to go one more. And I think I made my point compound interest calculator. We hit calculation and the accrued amount you have to pay in five years for $80,000. And this would just be out of reach for anybody at this point um, in general. Again, you're in a perpetual debt. If you divide this by 60, here's the payment. That's huge. The total interest alone is $126,805, right? So it's 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 on a it's on a um, exponential growth scale, the compound interest. This one's just doubling, right? And if we go here to 40 and we decide to do the same thing, $80,000 here just to, so you see the difference. There's a big difference in, in compound interest and simple interest, okay? And I must mention this right now. Um, just so you know, the banks will pay us simple interest when we do their mutual funds and buy their products. But when they lend us money on our mortgages or personal loans, line of credits, anything, anything, they charge us compound interest. And this is why, okay? So just again, to go through our last scenario here, $80,000. I mean, you know, the total amount of interest with the exact same uh, term and everything and conditions would be $44,500 approximately. And we look at a compound interest calculator and it is skyrocketing to $126,805. Okay. So this is why it's so important for us to understand compound interest is simple interest. And there is a way to get yourself into simple interest if you are in these type of situations. Okay, guys. So with that said, um, I'll leave you with a little, I'll leave these guys with a little plug here. Uh, reduce my debt by thousands.com. They definitely know what they're doing. They'll find private lenders for you guys, um, you know, to, to, to execute these type of um, deals to get you into simple interest. And, uh, you know, they have their little videos here and right here, the info page, I would suggest you guys take a look at this because there's about seven videos here that they offer um, that are really helpful to understand. Okay, guys, so we're going to leave it at that. You guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Now, don't forget to complain. It's very important for us to unite and then see that. So just look down in the description. And it's going to tell you exactly how to complain and how you will be entered into this group actively seeking to access their birth certificate bond. Keep in touch. Keep looking. We've got lots more to tell you. You guys have a great day.